Um, this is Pawan here. I head technology and engineering at the math company. Uh, it's been like uh, four years since I joined the company. I'm the first engineer uh, in the organization has built uh, a, a team of like 400, 500 people uh, till date, right? Um, so what we are is an analytics end-to-end -end solution uh, company. We are a hybrid company, which means that there is a way to have services and products uh, together. So we come with a lot of domain experts on engineering and tech, uh, along with uh, platforms and accelerators. Uh, so some of the key takeaways for sure was, this, first of all, it was very interesting for, uh, for us to come here uh, in person, do these sessions. Uh, I, I had a lovely crowd, a lot of tech questions. Um, uh, we talked about an interesting concept of uh, connected systems, how interconnecting different data and infra elements for us to drive uh, adoption and application development for our customers, right? Uh, it was it was very interesting. Met a lot of my old friends who are into the same space, uh, and I truly believe that going forward, this will be a game changer uh, uh, in the analytics industry. Sure. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about the data aspect of things when we say uh, trends because there's too many trends going on, right? So, um, now one definite thing is more uh, self-serve. No-code, low-code platforms have brought uh, self-serve capabilities uh, to our customers, to our clients very easily, right? And they're starting to demand a lot more of it. That's one like clear trend that you can look at. Our data marketplace is a, is a very good example where uh, clients are looking at how can I discover data and insights with existing uh, 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 assets that I've already built. That's it. Uh, B is, uh, there's a lot of reporting needs that are there. And there's something cool called a semantic layer or semantic warehouse. Um, it's not a new concept, but uh, given the need of uh, uh, reporting as such, uh, there are multiple tools that you can use, but semantic layer solves uh, uh, that problem of moving away the semantic layer itself from the reporting layer to the warehouse layer. Right? That's an interesting trend that is going on. Of course, the third one is uh, chat GPT and generative AI as such. Um, people have not figured out how it will help the data engineering aspect of things. Um, but going forward, it will be very cool to see how that changes the game for data engineering. One interesting aspect that we are working is we are trying to build out a generative AI kind of sort of a model in-house for a pharmaceutical, co pharmaceutical company, which will help out on their data and quality needs. Oh my God, that was like purely by luck as such. I was a Java developer. Then uh, within the first month or so, I get I got pushed into being a DBA as such. Right? This was way back, like 14 years ago as such. right? And that has been that journey for me where I like, got introduced into data and systems while I was working in Target. And then fortunately, I got into big data and analytics and with, with, uh, with MathCo, I'm like into entire engineering stack of data, cloud uh, and ops. Sure. Uh, I think our relationship with DS has been like uh, um, um, very good, especially the AM has been very good uh, since the last few years. We closely work with uh, AM as such to figure out what interesting trends are happening, so on and so forth. Speci specifically with uh, DS, I'm super excited because there was no data engineering summit specifically happening in the industry, right? It was more towards AI, ML, analytics sort of a thing. Uh, but I'm very happy, very proud to be actually part of this uh, uh, first uh, out of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, sort of an event for uh, analytics as such.